Today we're going to be talking about the Crown Victoria, which is basically an overweight Mustang. Now, there are a lot of facts about these Crown Victorias that I can go over, but I decided to give you the ones that are most important. For example, 2001 to 2011 is when they started implementing the performance improved heads and basically the whole top end on these Crown Victorias. The Mustang had had them since 99. The Crown Victorias from 2003 to 2011 have the independent front suspension, meaning you don't have to deal with the infamous wheel cave-in. I'm talking about these things will fold harder than a BBW in heels trying to walk upstairs. Now, to mod these things kind of subtly, you have to do some preventative maintenance because the oil pumps and the primary chains on these things are absolute trash. Now, when the chain broke, because you will have a timing chain failure. It is it's imminent. It's going to break and hit everything. Like when you get in trouble, but your siblings get an ass whooping too. So yeah, with the mods, you can do a stage 2 comp cam extreme energy cam. You can do the 550 lift valve springs, some steel retainers, um, and just stick a turbo on it. Or you can do a torque tech supercharger kit, which allows you to basically use a Terminator Cobra supercharger on a regular 4.62 valve but speaking of terminator cobra we do need to talk about that well, these 03 to 04 terminator cobras can handle 800 horsepower on stock internals but all you need from this damn thing is the internals but if you can't find those and you need some forged rods then remember this all the 4.6 engines whether it's a four valve or the two valve have the exact same rod length but you just need to find the h-beam manly rods like these on ebay oil pump replace that primary chain now like i said you're definitely going to have to change out those cams so go with the cum cam stage three then after that you have your beehive valve springs with 550 inches of lift and you have your retainers and you got your ARP head studs, but let's say you don't want to nickel and dime this thing to death. Then go with the Trick Flow top end kit and throw a turbo on it, like a 62 to 68 millimeter turbo. These Crown Victorias do respond well to boost. It's just the internals are trash. You're definitely going to have to go with like a 3200 to 3500 stall with these because the cams and with that come with these Trick Flow kits are pretty goddamn big. Now, as far as the transmission though, you're definitely gonna have to build that 4R70W because they don't like they don't like a lot of horsepower. They don't. They tap out like a virgin off of one stroke. As far as the rear end, you don't need a 49 inch. You can use the 88 rear end that come with it. Just use 373 gears or 410 if you're filling up to it. And um, hell, that's pretty much it. The formula's simple.